We're gonna head through to the workshop in a minute and start this new video. In there, we've got a Porsche Type 540, which is also known as the America Roadster. It's a very special car in Porsche's history. This particular example was built in 1952. It's one of 17 built and one of 11 known left to exist in the world. Let's head on through and talk you through the retrim process and what we're gonna do on this particular car. As you can see, the car's all been stripped out. We've removed the carpets, which are cleaning up the glue, ready for Jake to put the new carpets back in. Rocky started trimming the door panels and some of the dash bits. When we stripped this car down, we found a few cool things. First of all, there was a business card that Rocky had written on in 2002. He left a little message saying that he thought he was going to re-trim it when he was 48. He's currently 49, so he got that pretty close. We also found in the seats a load of rolled up newspaper that had been wedged between the springs. Maybe they'd been making a bit of noise, so they just stuffed some paper up there to quieten them down. It's a New York Times from 1955. We're putting this car back to its factory combination, which was ivory paint with a green interior. In the seats, we found some evidence of the green carpet, so we've matched that up and got that in from Germany. And we've got this lovely green leather going in the car also. Jake's been templating and then cutting out and binding each piece and gluing it into the car. He's just got the seals and the front end left to do on this one and then that's all of the carpets complete. Rocky's just fitting up the final few panels. As you can see, the door panels have all been completed. They really have been trimmed in quite a complicated way. Everything kind of sat on top of each other. You had to hold things out of the way to be able to get to the screws um, for everything. You know, there would be a much simpler way of doing this, but that's not how it was done. So we've uh, struggled on and got it all done as it would have been to keep it looking nice and original. hoods in brown. I made this hood in 2002. There are improvements to be made and my stitch lines from 2002 don't follow these bows as much as I'd like them to now. Join me with the car, it's all finished, waiting for collection. We've made particular efforts to make this hood as good as it can be. And there's no rubbers on this hood, so as you can see, when the door closes, it just caresses this top piping line. It's as good as it can be. We'll just drop you the hood and show you the inside. You join me with the finished interior. As you can see from the earlier part of the video, the interior was brown, how I trimmed it in 2002. We've changed it to how it left the factory now. And as you can see, the carpet's been hand-stitched around the back. Hardware's been fitted to the door panels and the original rubber's been placed into the front footwell, exactly how it left the factory. 
When we retrimmed this car in 2002, it's just per customer's request. Since then, we've taken a different approach to this car, um, how we would do any important vehicle. And we've done thorough research to get every detail correct. And uh, we're very pleased with the outcome. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please join me in the next one. Uh, subscribe and like, and please feel free to share it. Thank you very much.